Hello and welcome to one and all. In today's class, we will check out the next question, next five marks answer under unit 8 foreign sector that is balance of trade and balance of payments. Okay. So, first let us check out what is the meaning of balance of trade. Okay. So, the balance of trade it is a record of all the imports and exports of goods of one country goods of one country with the rest of the world with the other countries with all the other countries of the world that is with the rest of the world you can highlight the fact that balance of uh, trade it is having the record of it is concerned only with the export and imports of goods between one country and the rest of the world okay so or in other words balance of trade is concerned only with the goods that is we call it as a visible items which are entered at the ports of the country airport or seaport ports of the country the goods which are imported and exported okay so all the whatever in other words all the uh, commodities which are having the uh, the physical quality all the tangible goods so whatever the goods that are exported and imported and which are uh, and uh, which are entering through the ports of the country or which are exiting through the ports of the country they are called as the uh, i mean the, those value of imports and exports of one country with the rest of the world are uh, recorded under the balance of trade so example all the food uh, food grains machinery medicines anything all the tangible items medicines etc so which are uh, entering through entering or exiting through the ports of the country which are recorded at the ports of the country that your balance of trade is concerned with one with the exports and imports of those uh, goods between one country and the rest of the world okay now suppose if the value of exports of goods are more than the value of imports of goods then it is known as surplus isn't it so then it is known as favorable balance of trade okay or or in the sense that otherwise that is if the value of exports of goods are lesser than the value of imports of goods of a particular country imports of goods then it is known as
unfavorable balance of trade okay so now this is about the balance of trade now what is the meaning of balance of payments now let us check out what is the uh, meaning of balance of payments so the balance of payments to put it very simply balance of payments includes both the goods and services so the balance of payments is a complete statistical or monetary record of all economic transactions of one country with the rest of the world so that is so this is the main difference balance of payments includes the values of both exports and imports of goods and services okay now i think you can understand the differences balance of payments includes both the exports and imports of goods as well as the services whereas balance of trade includes only the record or the value of only the goods uh, export and import of goods between the countries so for a long period of time uh, india was always having the favorable balance of trade and britain was always having the unfavorable balance of trade but still uh, it was found out that the britain was well developed compared to india so it was uh, i mean then it was found out that even though britain was always having the unfavorable balance of trade it was able to compensate that with uh, by the excess value in the in terms of services export of services so then it was understood that balance of trade is including recording only the export and imports of goods which is not sufficient which is not showing the complete economic position of a particular country okay so then it was understood that instead of balance of trade balance of payments of a country should be taken into account to know the economic position of a particular country then because the balance of payments it is a complete statistical record it includes all the monetary transactions of one country with the with the rest of the world so it includes the values of both the goods and services or in other words balance of payments balance of payments includes both visible items so visible items that are goods and also the invisible items that is the services okay so the balance of it is uh, recorded in the trading account of the country so and that means for few, for visible items example same thing food grains any example you can give food grains medicines machinery chemicals so all these are you can say the goods or the visible items apart from that it also includes and it also includes the shipping charges for example the foreign direct investment 
foreign capital or loan so these are all uh, tourist charges so these are all not having the physical shape isn't it so they these items they all come under the category of invisible items or in other words they are the service the insurance charges tourist charges the shipping charges okay so all these are entered in the balance of payments so they are come under they come under the category of invisible items or they are the services so the balance of payments includes balance of trade also so it is uh, bro balance of payments is a broader concept than the balance of trade so balance of trade includes only the export and import of goods the value of export and import of goods balance of payments includes the value of exports and imports of both the goods as well as the services both the visible items as well as the invisible items okay so now in the same way if the value of exports of goods and services are higher than the values of imports of the same that is the goods and services then it is known as then it is known as surplus balance of payments okay and on the other hand on the other hand if the value of exports of goods and services are lower or lesser than the value of imports of goods and services then it is known as it is called as the deficit in balance of payments for i mean these are all the terms which are used in case of uh, balance of trade we say of course you can say surplus balance of trade or favorable balance of trade deficit balance of trade or unfavorable balance of trade so here if the values of exports are more then it is known as the surplus balance of payments if the values of imports are more it is known as the deficit in balance of payments okay so the balance of payments so this is it is recorded in the the balance of payment is recorded in the trading account of the country okay so that is the main uh, difference between the balance of trade as well as the balance of payments and apart from that balance of payments includes two accounts so balance of payments includes two accounts so one is current account and another one is the capital account okay so the current account so this includes exports i mean uh, exports and import debit and credit okay so exports and imports of goods services and there is something called as unrequited that is 
not returned back that is the unrequited unrequited receipts and payments so uh, for example uh, the gifts received or gifts paid and the indemnities uh, paid to the foreigners or received from the foreigners so, so they are all something which is not returned okay so that's why it is called the unrequited so current account includes exports and imports of goods exports and imports of services and unrequited re receipts and payments okay so this is the current account of the balance of payments the exports mean receipts are entered on the credit side imports whatever the value of the import that are entered on the debit side okay and another account it consists of is the capital account so the capital account is it is the capital receipts capital receipts all the capital receipts and payments are entered on the capital account so for example uh, such as borrowings capital borrowings from or lending to foreign countries purchase and sale of assets purchase or sale of assets purchase and sale of gold gold etc so all the uh, capital transactions are entered in the uh, capital account see now what is happening current account which includes exports and imports of goods so that's why balance of payments includes balance of trade also balance of trade is also one of the components of balance of payments so if there is any uh, deficit in the balance in the current account of the balance of payments so automatically it is compensated by borrowing from the uh, and which is borrowing from the other countries which is entered on the capital account okay so the capital account whenever we receive loans from the other countries it is included it is entered on the credit side of the receipts receipts are always entered on the credit side that's why the balance of payments will always balance account for, for the accounting purpose balance of payments will always balance okay but for the economically if you see the uh, loans received from the other countries even though it is entered on the credit side of the balance of payments it is an, a liability for a country it has to be repaid back okay so now this is the uh, meaning of the balance of trade and balance of payment okay so you will get a question what is the difference between balance of trade and balance of payments so once you are understood the concept we will go back to the answer then you can understand the concept and the answer clearly okay now moving on to the answer so distinguish between balance of payments and balance of trade so this is the second five marks question which has been which is being frequently asked in the uh, foreign sector unit 8 the first one being the role of what is the assess the role of international trade which we already finished so the second question is the distinguish between balance of payments and balance of trade so now what is the answer balance of trade refers to a country's net difference between the values of exports and imports of goods only in a period of time and balance of payments refers to a country's all monetary transaction that's why i men mentioned to you both the goods and services with the rest of the world it includes both goods and services so now this is the introduction or this is the meaning now moving on to the main difference balance of payments it is a broad and comprehensive concept broad and comprehensive concept it in it is a wider concept than the balance of trade now you can understand that it is a comprehensive concept means it includes so many elements within it so that's why we are mentioning everything isn't it the values of exports and imports of goods and services the all the capital transactions of a country everything is included entered in the balance of payments okay so that is why it is a comprehensive concept but whereas balance of trade it is a narrow concept because it is uh, taking care of only the it is mentioning only about the exports and imports of goods the second one it includes all transactions related to visible that is goods invisible that is services 
tourist charges shipping charges insurance charges everything and also the capital trans transfers that is all the loans in the, uh, foreign loans foreign capital foreign direct investment purchase and sale of assets purchase and sale of gold all these come under the category of capital transfers but whereas the balance of debt it includes only the visible items that is the goods the tangible goods third one it always balances itself that's why i mentioned to you if there is any problem any deficit in the current account of the balance of payments it is always compensated by uh, the capital through the capital account of the balance of payments so it always balances itself but whereas balance of trade is not like that it can be favorable or unfavorable so if the exports of goods are more than the uh, imports of goods it is termed as favorable balance of trade if the exports of goods are lesser lower than the uh, imports of goods then it is known as the unfavorable balance of trade and the last one balance of pay uh, payments that is bop is equal to current account plus capital account plus or the balancing item that is the errors and omissions so that, that's why balance of payments will always balance itself okay and the, as far as the balance of trade is concerned it is the net earnings of exports minus net payments for imports so this is the difference between the balance of payments and balance of trade so it's a very small short answer but it is one of the important questions which are which is being asked in the board exam okay so hope you have understood the concept clearly what is the meaning of balance of trade what is the meaning of balance of payments okay and i also would like to mention that i have already uploaded the you know, two marks answers of the first unit so if you subscribe to my channel and if you go to the playlist you will find the uh, two marks answers of the first unit so i will be continuously doing or giving you the uploading the videos of all the chapters two marks answers along with it i will be mentioning the frequency of those questions which are being uh, which are being asked in that in the board exam based on the previous exam papers okay so if you find this video useful please like share and also subscribe to my channel so and also don't fail to mention your suggestions or uh, doubts and if you want any particular topic to be explained please mention that also in the comment box okay so until my next class take care bye bye